Hello and welcome back to this Let's Play of Earthbound with me, SLJRPG. In the last episode, we made our way to Tucson. Uh, we also fought some cops, beat up some mushrooms. Um, in this episode, we're going to explore Tucson and try and hopefully meet up with Paula. First thing I want to do though is I want to check out what I can buy here really. We've got a slingshot here ready. We've got our Tihu is something that I bought because I thought, you know what, it's an upgrade. We've got some hamburgers, so I need to get myself some more equipment. But let's also have a look, see if there's anything else interesting to buy. Um, and of course, we're going to be chatting to as many NPCs as we can. I heard the meteorite crashed on onto a hilltop near Ronette. That must have been exciting. It was. <laughs> I think that my grandchild is older than you. He's a famous inventor. He lives here, and people call him Orange Kid. He seems to be popular with the girls because he's groovy. So, it feels like we need to go and try and find ourselves some orange kid. But first off, let's stock up on some good old hamburgers here. I'm going to get myself two of these because I already have one in lock ready to go. Uh, we do not know. I don't want to buy any bread today, but let's have a chat with this lady. Yum, yum, yum. I'm eating a skip sandwich. It makes you want to start skipping. I saw it on TV. I just had to try one. I bet I can really move after eating this. There we go. Then, lastly, we did buy some stuff from up here already, but I have not spoken to the NPCs. I want to visit my boyfriend in Thread. Thread. <laughs> Except the bus won't go there. I wonder why. So that must be our mission to get to there. That teddy they sell over here, I heard it helps in battle. I don't know what they're talking about. It looks like a plain old teddy bear to me. Okay. I feel like we're gonna buy ourselves a teddy bear. Happy Happy Village is getting to be more and more blue. Do you get it? Let us. Oh, it's an expensive thing. But if it helps... We shall see. What the fuck, man? <laughs> it follows you around! That's amazing! <laughs> oh my god, that's so odd. Uh, okay, there we go. I'm not sure I want this thing following me around for now whilst we're exploring. So I may use my first use of the Escargo Express and put this away. Yep, we know you're working part-time. So, let us put the teddy bear in the storage when we get the chance. Someone will come find us, but let's speak to Mr. T over here. I saw some weird bear guy following Paula. This guy gave me the creeps. Paula is who we've spoken about. And this is our first introduction to the Escargo Express. This is the Escargo Express. Your delivery charge is £8. You can cover the bill, right? Yes. You can take up to three things. I think we're going to have you take the exit mouse. And I'll have you take the teddy bear as well for now. Okay, so we've got those stored locked in ready. Should we have a gander at the cycle shop? So we've obviously got the map here. There's the hotel, the hospital, we've got some houses that we can go visit. And there's a blinking yellow thing, which I'm curious about. But let us first head on into the cycle shop. This is the cycle shop. Pukesha, Punkshore. Bicycles are so much fun and so convenient. It's a lot faster than walking. You'll be really popular with the biking crowd. Do you want a bicycle? Yes. Unfortunately, we don't have any more bikes for sale. I only have rentals. I don't want to rent one. He doesn't know how to ride a bike, me neither. Okay, that's fine though. Uh, let's have a gander into the hospital. The hospital? The hotel. See if there's anything interesting here, NPC-wise. You must be quite a rich boy to stay at such a nice first-class hotel like this one. I'm going to start talking to everyone twice. I just think that's a good option. I don't actually want to stay and I don't want to get any money out right now. Though we are baller. What? So what? Huh? These are changing, pardon? Jeez. <laughs> hmm? You're annoying. 
<laughs> Dang me! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> hey, you. Later days, pal. Ah, ha, ha, ha. These have all been changed. I'm gonna keep them going. It's so hot today. It rocks. Until they stop. Is it cold today? Oh, 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 see ya. Here, get yourself a juice or something. Ah! Good luck, okay? Okay. It, it pays to... <laughs> <laughs> to annoy people, apparently. Uh, nothing I can see in this room. I'm mainly looking out for presents. Any equipment here. That's why I got rid of the exit mouse and the teddy bear for now. I'll bring out the teddy bear if it helps us in combat the next dungeon we go into. Do I have a mushroom on my head? That's what I thought. Recently, I couldn't walk quite right. It was because of this mushroom. It's actually a kind of fun, so I'll leave it there. I We did hear about being mushroom and I, mushroomized in the hotel of the hospital sorry of the first town so perhaps that's the thing i'm not going to speak to the cleric but i am glad that i bothered that man for a little bit of money uh i will speak to everyone twice that is kind of the gist welcome would you like me to tell you about tucson yes i would tucson has a modern clean hotel there is a hospital and a wonderful chaos theater there is the pole star preschool and a nice bus station if you're curious you might want to check out berglin park it's exciting East of town, you find the peaceful West Valley. On the, we've heard about that from Reddit. On the other side is the valley is the happy, happy village. There's also a pizza parlor. Do you want to know anything else? Well, tee I don't know anything else. Okay. So we've got some places to go visit today. I know there are some random enemies around. This is our way back out to the mushroom land. I haven't done any grinding in between episodes. Kind of felt pointless. But let us... Have a gander, firstly, into this house. Just home invading, you know. Dad and Mum have left for Happy Happy Village. They want to meet with the founder of the religion there. So there's a religion in Happy Happy Village. Sorry, I've just reconfigured the controls, so... <laughs> they might be a little bit shaky for a bit while. Right. I heard Paula was kidnapped, but it's still unconfirmed. So, Paula is the person that we're ultimately here to see. She came to us in the dream. I'm guessing she's the next NPC, seeing as... Uh, that's interesting that they've... That's different. Um, seeing as she spoke to us in a dream. Also seeing as we named her at the beginning. <laughs> right, let's go. As we explore... Are you Paula? Did you know that the two young inventors live in this town? I want to invest something too. So maybe there's an opportunity to invest some money. Boom. Boom. As we visit Tucson Hospital. This is... This is the hospital... It's my job to cure you. Do you need some help? No, we're actually okay. We have not got m mushroomized, but I would like to check out this door. Thank you. I think that's just the doctor. So we're all good on that front. Let's check out upstairs though, see if there's anything fancy going on up there. We have a man that we'll speak to afterwards. Let's speak to the gentleman looking at the window. I had an argument with my friend about happy happyism. Okay. Happy Happyism seems to be some sort of cult. I wanted to see the circus in Threed the next town over, but I heard my leg in the peaceful rest valley. Okay. So the information we do know is that Paula is at the preschool, so that's where we'll end up at the end of these. I got hit by zombies in Threed the next town over, so I'm stuck in a hospital. I left something good at Threed Hospital, but now I can't get to it, because the bus can't go through the tunnel. So that's a hint that we should definitely check the hospital in Threed. But... Let us... Make our way. Peace Valley sounds like it would be a uh, a um, a dungeon that we have to do. I think after conversations I had on Reddit with everyone, I'm going to avoid this. I'm churning through the grass right now to see if there's any encounters. I want to get as many as I can. Here we have at the Chaos Theater. Who are you talking to? No one. But I want that butterfly. <laughs> Magic butterfly made Ness relax. I don't know if there's like a uh, a go down and see. Tonight, Bookie's back. The runway five's night. 
had some connections. I could waltz right in. I'm just a regular drill. I love standing in a queue. I also love words that start with Q. Queen, quiet, quick. I'm starting a line here. I want a ticket for today's show, but I may not get it. Let's have a gander into the theater. I guess I lost my ticket, so no, I can't get in. The ticket counter at the department store was even sold out. Hello, please present your ticket. We have not got a ticket. You want to see the poochie foot, the manager? Right on through the store, please. Why's he got a cop collection? The Runaway Five owe me a lot of money. They stay here until they pay me back. They might be here for a hundred years, unless you decide to pay off their debt. That feels like it's something that is going to come up. This 8-bit or 16-bit, I don't know what it, what it would be, but this music in the background. Uh, amazing. <laughs> I'm guessing this is the Runaway Five. We may be popular, but that girl who lives at the house with the preschool is the talk of the town. I want to see her someday. Well, we, that's right, we are the Runaway Five. We're popular, but not rich. We've been cheating in this theater, and we're really deep in debt. I want that van. Do you play some sports? If you do, that's fine by us. Two Senate Athletic Committee. We're not going to pay for any hints. I'm going to avoid using that at all, all costs. If you have time to read this, go to the cast later immediately. I already went and I couldn't get in. I have not got a ticket, I'm afraid, guys. There is another dog, which I shall definitely be speaking to. If you're looking for Venus House, it's next door. My daughter left for the big city to become a superstar. She's using a stage name. Vane. Vane something. She's working very hard. I'm guessing Venus is something that we'll come across at some point. Nothing, it seems, to steal in here. Barge my way into houses. Loot them. The, R the JRPG way. Uh, <laughs> can I not get into that? Apparently not. What you got to say, mate? There was a kidnapping. Believe me. Even though I'm just a dark. Woof. So, Paula has evidently been kidnapped. Berglin Park. Berglin Park seems kind of dangerous, but there's some great stuff there. The boss of Berglin Park is ever red. He ties to burg burglaries and this kid happens in the air. He's a scary guy. I like to sell my goodies on the street. Sure, flies them, land on them, but if my opinion makes them tasting better, what would you like? Ooh! I kind of want to get a lucky sandwich because I am curious, but we're actually going to get nothing right now until I know a bit more. It makes me feel good just to sit and look at my butts. I like butts, but what I really want is a tool shop for a sale sign. That's right, it's right here. Should I steal it? Hmm. I own an antique shop. No one is buying or selling anything, so I was thinking of selling the for sale sign that sits in front of me. It's only $98. Please buy it. Yes! It makes me feel good just to sit and look at my butts. Okay, so I've got a for sale sign. I sell fresh eggs. They're nutritious. Please buy this beautiful, beautiful egg. Okay. This feels a little bit like... I don't know if you guys have ever been to Copenhagen. It feels a little bit like that district here. <laughs> uh, I've forgotten what it's called. Um, of course, Everett isn't a good person. But he's actually quite the warm-hearted for a crime boss. Hello, would you like some seasonings to add to your foods at mealtime? They are really quite miraculous. Whenever you eat something, the seasonings will sprinkle automatically. They come in these cute little packets and jars. What kind do you like? Oh. I'm gonna get a jar of hot sauce. No. Okay, we got, we get, I'm getting a lot of items here. I came to buy condiments. I wonder what would be good. The right condiment makes the dish taste better, while the wrong condiment makes it taste worse. If this condiment matches the food, you will get more power than if you ate the food item plain. So I like add-ons. That's an interesting mechanic. Everett always watches over Berglin Park. That's why we don't have to bribe any crooked cops. Would you like some bananas? Hey kid, do you want to buy some? Cool. We'll see what bananas means at some point. 
Hey, why don't you buy the world's greatest ruler? Yes, that's two clams. Okay. Hey, Mon. You gotta expand your mind and use this stuff creatively. Come on, buy some of my junk. Ooh. I can buy a... a, a copper bracelet with the money. Good to know. So the scientist is there. Ooh. Ha <laughs> ha! Why don't we chat later after we lock horns? Oh, shit, okay, I'm in a battle. Everett attacked. Just missed. 31 HP. He stole in the confusion of battle. Let's use our Psy attack. Just for the good of it, 80 HP. Okay, this guy's strong. We're gonna use another side attack. And then we'll heal up next turn. Everhead to turn back to normal. So there appears to be like mini areas in each town where there's like a boss. And we're leveled up to level 14. We're up by 1, 1, 1, 12 by 1. Realize the power of paralysis. I'm Everett, the boss of Bergen and Bark. When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyway, I lost nothing and... And... I lost nothing will change that. You know, you're pretty strong. Yeah, I know that you want to find out about a girl named Paula. She went off to a secret hideout in Peaceful Rest Valley. The chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit might have kidnapped her, though. They said that they were going to make Paula some sort of human sacrifice. They were definitely hardcore strange. You know, she might be gone already. You better hurry. If you say Paula, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget. Okay. If you say Paula, be sure to come back here. Okay, we will. What I'm going to go do now is I will see you back out here as we'll head towards the school area, which I'm assuming is down that left-hand corner. But I'm going to go free up some of these items that I've got here. I'm going to put the for sale sign and the fresh egg and the jar of hot sauce. In the Escargot Express, so I'll see you guys in a second. Right, so I'm back here, healed. I dropped off the for sale sign and the chicken that we got from the fresh egg. Uh, so what we're going to do now, though, is we're going to speak to this gentleman right here. Hey, man, you've got to expand your mind and use this stuff creatively. Come on, buy some mud junk. We're going to buy ourselves the copper bracelet we'll reward ourselves yes yes no not for now I'm actually gonna keep the rest of the stuff here but I will be buying one more uh, one more thing from this guy we're going to buy a skip sandwich And we were okay for now. The hot sauce we ate with the burger didn't do that much combination. But it's good to know that's there. I'll have some experimenting around. But I'm not too worried about condiments. If I'm honest. Out of everything here. Right. Let's go check out this area before we check out the street. See if there's any goodies lying around. Oh. There is a bad guy. So I think that's worth us having a bit of a scuffle. New Age Retro Hippie. Okay. 63 damage to New Age Retro Hippie. 13 HP, but it's not too bad. Okay. Is he <laughs> the enemy design in this game is so odd, man. <laughs> it's really great, though. Right, so we're just back here in Berglin Park. We've got to remember to head back to him once we have found Paula. And he gave us the information that she was kidnapped into Peaceful Valley by a skinny man and a man in blue. Um, but first things first, before all of that, let us have a conversation. You got the orange kid here. The stupid slob, the apple kid, always asks me for something to eat. He's the inventor. He should invent some food for himself. I'm nuts about this one kid inventor. 
No, not that airhead dweeb apple kid. I'm talking about the incredibly hot orange kid. So there's evidently some rivalry happening here. Orange and apple kid. Let's see what the apple kid can do. Well, I have some sort of neglect to do in my housework. I know it's a bit of a pigsty, but anyway, I'm Apple Kid. I haven't taken a bath in quite a while, so I may be kind of stinky. By the way, I'm starving. Do you have something to eat? If you do, can I have some? Yes. I will give you a skip sandwich. Thanks. You seem very nice. Uh, I wonder if maybe you would like to invest some money in my inventions. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, excuse me. I mean, thank you. By the way, I could really use $200. I won't let you down. Hopefully that will come back for us. I'm a mouse. No one has given me my name yet. You took care of my master. In return, I want to give you this. Please take it and say nothing. Ness got a receiver phone. Oh, I must be in your way. What does the receiver phone do? Is that a, a portable healer? Okay. We can only receive calls from it. <laughs> I don't know if that's useful. Greetings. I'm the Arch Kid, the inventor. Have you heard of me? I'm a bit embarrassed about my reputation. I have a lot of inventions in development, but I'm running sort of short of cash. Basically, I have become a lucky person, so I'm not worried. You know, I'm working on this machine that would really help you in the peaceful rest valley. I hope it's ready soon. What? You are willing to help finance the project? Yes. Goody, would you be okay to get $200 to buy materials? Not right now. I guess I was just too hopeful. Oh well, never mind. I'm gonna go get some more money and help him out before I head into Peaceful Valley. But let's check out these first. There's not been as many trash cans, which has been interesting. <gasps> a cat. Meow. <laughs> I have a lot of old broken junk, but I hate to throw anything away. If you have a friend who is knowledgeable about what mechanics, this person might be able to fix something for you overnight. Man, a friend like that would be so handy. I think that might be the Inventor Kids. Hint, hint, hint. Are you happy now? Happy, happy religious group. So, there's a cult. That's an enemy though. By looks of it. So we've got the bus station pizza store here. If you go to the east, you could run into trouble. Peace Forest Valley and a happy, happy village are waiting for you. I've also heard that there are UFOs in Peace Forest Valley. We will not be going there quite yet. I heard a girl named Paula was kidnapped while helping out at the Polestar Preschool. People in Happy Happy Village are fanatical about a strange religion. Maybe they've got some sort of bad fever. Be careful. Okay. We shall be careful. Where's this monk kid gone? That's Polestar Preschool, so we're going to go... I'm going to aim in to go into there last. But let us check out the pizza parlor. Okay, so we can order delivery, <laughs> which is interesting. Uh, no takeaway only place. I'm thinking about catching a bus to Threed. I heard there are ghosts all along the way. I wonder if the bus will have to return around and come back. So we're not going to be able to get a bus to take the bus or not to take the bus. I get scared pretty easy. That's right, I'm a bus driver, for now. I'm resting. Life is long, take it easy, chubs. Why don't you check out your town map and learn about this area? That's what I've been doing. The bus system is a little strange. Be sure to check into the bus signs. I wonder who came up with this system. Lord nice. There is an ATM there though, which is very handy. I was in the last war, so I'm not scared of ghosts, actually. I'm more scared of my old lady, haha. -ha. I mean, you are really old. I want to check here. Welcome to the automatic teller machine. Please select a transaction. Shows a balance of 623. I wish to withdraw. I've been mean, caning my way through some money here. We'll do this. The cheap... The bracelet, I think, is a good addition. We've already got some body armor given to us by the fellows. So let us speak to the orange kid. Greetings. I'm the orange kid in better. I have... 
Yep, we know. Okay, so we've got the Super Roma. What do you do? Okay. <laughs> it said it would help us in the Peaceful Valley. So I can't say no to that really, can I? Right. Last but not least, let's make our way into Polestar Preschool. Well, I wanted to play with Paula, but she's gone somewhere. When I grow up, I want to be just like Paula. Everyone loves Paula, apparently. Paula is like mother to me. You may not be able to comprehend my emotions. I might have a baby face, but I possess the mind of an adult. I beg your pardon. There we go. Whistle, whistle, anywhere. It makes me smile all the while. I'm Paula's mother. I'm busy taking care of these kids. You shouldn't worry about Paula. She has a guardian angel, it seems. Okay. So, you want to see Paula? Minnie come here to see her miraculous powers, but they're just leeches, so you are from a TV station or what? No. To meet you or not to meet can only be decided by Paula. Paula has said that she would only meet with a boy named Ness. So you're Ness. You're the one that was in Paula's dream. You will save the world. Let me go call Paula. She's not going to be there. She doesn't seem to be here. I wonder where she went. I'm sorry. Could you come back later? She's been taken, mate. She's been kidnapped from you. Come on, let me out. <laughs> Interesting to have your two beds in the hall. But, finally. Ness open the present. There's a teddy bear inside. Ness takes it. Okay, so we've now got two teddy bears. I'm going to keep this one on me. But, without further ado. I think it is time to head towards Peaceful Valley. I might get rid of the receiver phone because I don't think it's going to be useful. Stock up on some pizza for the road. But, me and Mr. Bear here, we'll see you next time. Oh, let's fight a hippie first. We can see what happens. Oh, we see. Narrowly missed hitting the target. Okay. Is he like a, a status buffer? Because that is bloody handy if that is so. Bloody sound bloody English, I don't, don't I? Uh, <laughs> that's really handy. If that is the case. Right, let's put some stuff away. But I'll do this off screen. Next time, me and Teddy here. <laughs> God, creepy. Me and Teddy here. We'll see you next time as we head into Peaceful Valley. Peaceful Forest Valley or something like that. And head away to Happy Happy Village. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.